This lesson is another compare and contrast. I know these can take a little bit of time, but it's good practice going and rereading the stories and really thinking hard about them. So remember, if you need to go back and look at them, there's a link to the stories because it's been a couple of days, so you might need to remind yourself uh, what they were about. Or specifically in this case, what the narrators were like because you are comparing and contrasting the narrators of the two stories. How are the narrators similar? How are they different? Now remember the narrator of the court's decision was Dred Scott, um, a slave in the 1800s. On the picket line, the narrator was a girl called Kathleen Bowen. I believe she was fictional and she was fighting for women's rights. So they were both fighting for their rights. They, they lived in different times, 1800s versus early 1900s. They were fighting for different things, being free of slavery and having the right to vote. They were different ages. Their families looked different. Uh, you can think about other qualities they might have both had or uh, ones that were slightly different. Were they both determined? Were they both, um, what's another example? Happy all the time. Were they both sad all the time? Were they both hardworking? Uh, I feel like I list the same character traits. But you'll notice a lot, there are character traits that a lot of um I guess heroes of stories or the main characters of stories do have in common. So really think about what the narrators are like, what's the same and what is different. And as always, the more explanation you can give me, the better. Um, think deeply. You can say like young and old, but that's not, not what I would love to see from a fifth grader because I think you can be a little more specific and a little more in detail than that. Your word for today is mine. So I told you the last one ended a question. So this is the first word in the next sentence. Mine is the word. Good luck on the assignment and let me know if you need any more help or suggestions.